Today's verse is a beautiful verse. It comes as if we are criticizing Lord Shiva, but in fact, it tells us what are the qualities or the beauty of Lord Shiva. Here, we are starting with the uh, way how he travels from one place to another. Before that, we need to understand how Lord Shiva is appearing and at the same time, what are his ornaments or the jewelry, right? He is wearing all the snakes as his ornaments. It could be all the way from his rings to his bracelets to his necklace all the way to his hip chain. But everything, the decorative ornaments that he is using is a snake. And he travels in a bull or rather an ox. He is using a bull as his vehicle instead of an elephant. And what does he eat? He doesn't uh, eat like us. Rather, he is having a Brahma Kabal and that is the one he is using in order to get arms and have his have uh, have those as his food if you look at this concept of taking arms do you mean to say that lord shiva has nothing imagine when i want to get uh, uh, when i want to go and beg to someone what would i really beg on something that i don't have and something the other person has a lot isn't it if i have something why would i go and beg to someone so what is there in us that Lord Shiva doesn't have. We need to ask this question because he's begging to us, which means he is lacking and something that we have in surplus. So what is that? That is what we call it as the Arnavam, the ignorance or the uh, entanglement that we are having. We have in surplus, but Lord Shiva is lacking in it. So he's asking that from us so that he can help us in elevating to the next step. You look at his grace. What else do we need to have as an example of his grace more than this, isn't it? And not only that, he is, uh, the next question they may ask is, okay, he's traveling in an ox or a bull. And uh, where does he stay? He, she should have some kind of a place to stay, isn't it? So the place that he stays is not a hut or a palace or whatever we are thinking about, but in the hearts of the devotee. Devotees heart is the place that lord shiva resides okay so he resides there he should take his bath every day right so what is this using as a and i mean wh what kind of a bath does he take he doesn't bathe in normal water like what we are doing rather he is using the tears of devotees as uh, as a uh, uh, water for bathing we all know some of uh, some of uh, us around us are aware of some cinema actors or actresses who wanted uh, you know they, they wanted sandalwood paste to take their bath on or even uh, rosewood rose water to take their bath uh, and I know someone who was asking for bisleri water the distilled water to wash their face but Lord Shiva doesn't use any of these but rather he uses the tears of devotees to take his bath okay so after bath we need to do our makeup right so we all have our foundation and then on top of it our blush and whatever right so we need to have apply our makeup does lord shiva has any of these kind of makeup kit yes instead of the sandal paste sandal wood paste he is using holy ashes as a powder as well as as his makeup so this is what Lord Shiva is all about. He stays in the heart, uh, heart of the devotees and he, he bathes with the uh, tears of the Adiyars, uh, as in the devotees as well. 
and he resides in this place called as Tirichattiyakuri. So this also shows what kind of a grace Lord Shiva has. The graceful act, graceful deed of Lord Shiva is denoted here. Now, when we talk about this, uh, it sounds as if we are criticizing Lord Shiva, but indeed we are praising him because he, this, this denotes his simplicity. He's so simple in nature. He can be, because if you look at us around us, we are, the moment we get a little bit popular, we try to be having a very pop, pompous uh, kind of a uh, lifestyle. But Lord Shiva wants to have a very, very simple, he shows himself in a very, very simplistic manner so that we can have a confidence that, yes, he's there with me. I can always reach out to him. So he gives us this confidence and that is what verse number two is all about. I'll come back again with the next verse very soon. Until then, see you in the next